Oh great, it's raining also. I'm so happy. Dude, rain. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Welcome back to GDP. They GDP, won't let everybody. us sit inside the house and take shelter. Well, it's not really a house. It's more like I don't a care. It, it Does it have a roof? That's true, it does. Uh, I want this loot. <laughs> it's oh. mine now. Okay, cool. We, oh, raft schematic. Nice. Oh, oh there's no, fire no. over that way. Okay, wait. Yeah. We're going that way. You know, you've got a lot of control for someone that's moving Actually, this thing with a wooden... I don't know what that building is. I want to know what that building is. Uh, uh, you're well, gonna, you're I'm gonna not hit those rapids. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Although, I mean, if you do, maybe you'll get better stuff. Hey, what is the downside of hitting rocks and stuff? Uh, Just... Your raft takes damage. So... Come on! Ah, ha, ha, ha. I got to... Oh, crap. I'm so screwed. I'm going to die on this raft <laughs> in the middle of the rapids. One time, I'm it, it's going to hit the rocks. Ah, oh, crap. So is the raft health the green bar at the bottom, or is that yellow? I can't tell. Uh, it's yellow and red. And I am thirsty. Well, oh, I can at least do something about that. Oh, so that's sort of a tutorial tip. I mean, to be fair, like that's probably the most important ones to show us is when our stats or our... Uh, um, Yes, stats are, like, okay. getting super low. Oh, nice. You should also get food. I'm, you I'm really working might on that. I'm working. Oh, please. Okay, good. Uh, there's wolves in here. There's wolves? It showed wolves. Here, wait. Good. I know how to make it. I know how Valentine's to make it. Landing. I can make fire. I can make... I can make... On the dock? Oh, torch. I can make a torch. Did you have a torch already, or did you burn that up? I never had one. Totally had one. I, you have two torches now. Whatever. Now I have two torches. Oh, it's okay. This is a Dandelion. Ooh, eat that. Like, right now. You've got ten... Well, I guess you're not in super hunger mode. But ten points out of a hundred of hunger. I wonder... <clears throat> Great. What was that? Ant stings? Oh, that sucks. Oh, those are... To oh, they're fire ants. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah... Okay, I can't beat them with my fist. <laughs> Although at least North American fire ants aren't, like, the worst thing in the world. They can be horrible, though. You, they're, okay, they're not the worst thing in the world, you're right. But uh, I had to go to the hospital when I was a child because <laughs> I was playing in a fire ant bed. Oh, my. And when I say a child, I meant, like, I was... like a, Something like that. So you weren't in the South at that point, right? Oh, you were No, I was South. a toddler. Uh, I was lying. I wasn't actually 13. I was just, you interrupted me, so I was going with the story. Oh. That's what you get when you interrupt me. <laughs> uh, ah, aloe. I have that. Ooh, nice. You, you passed it. The weird leaf thing. Aloe is one of the strangest plants. Aloe? It yeah. is very strange. We used to have an aloe plant when I was growing up. You would. Bait shack. <clears throat> so... Oh, so many raft schematics. So uh, the main mechanics of the game basically are maintaining your stats, uh, creating equipment, or just like crafting stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then the river mechanics. Can you think of anything else? Um, uh, there, there's, I mean, there's setting traps and and hunting. Did you? I'm sorry. Did you include that? I. Really I feel like that's more of a secondary thing, though. Yeah. Because it's one it's of like... their. It was crap. I got ant sings again. Crap. I don't have any more aloe for that. Sad. Great. I wonder if those ailments stack. Like, if you keep getting stung, does it make it worse? Or is it like, you get it, and then you just keep it? Well, since I'm bleeding from my eyes and face, apparently. Oh, my. I'm just going to oh, geez. Just gonna do it anyway and find out what happens. Oh, I, I should be stepping on these. How, or am, I, how am I getting bit? Yeah, so it must be a one and, right. and, and done kind of deal. My hey, your wet is cured. None in bag. We never okay, talked cool. about the character portrait, but it's actually kind of like disturbing in like a really grim kind of way. Yeah, no joke, man. Like even the character, like her her actual like face looks that way too, but you don't really see it because we're kind of in that like three quarters turn sort of perspective. Um, but I wonder why they chose that because the rest of the game, like the rest of the art of the game, rather it it's not like totally grim like a lot of this stuff is decrepit right. right and kind of falling apart um but then you get a lot of like vibrant colors in the rest of the world and in nature and then you just have this character that just looks 
destroyed emotionally. <laughs> it looks terrible. Like, she looks like she's I like, I don't that. even know how I've been living this long. Okay, so I think there's... The thing that I wasn't realized is... Like, obviously, there's items that have priority, right? Mm. Like, the things you need to be able to carry on you and things that you can carry in the bag. And then, finally, things that can go on a raft because you don't need them at that moment. Like, I'm going to go ahead and put this crap on the raft because I don't need it right now. Mm -hmm. In fact, at, like, I won't be able to even access this stuff until I get off of the raft. And I think that's important to bring up. Inventory management. Me. Well, it's, it's especially important, too, because you oh, need to, like... Crap. I need to get some water. Drop off all the stuff before point. you go hunting for supplies, because otherwise you'll encounter kind of what you hit in the earlier point of the game, where you're just like, I can't carry all this stuff, but I need it so bad. Well, so I'm starting to get tired. And the problem with that is every time you go to sleep, you also... Get hungrier. Get hungrier. And I'm not sense. gonna be able to make it over there, am I? Can I? I really? Oh no! Looks like this is where I'm going. All right. Oh. The huh. uh, Magic. Nice. <laughs> Rustwater Station. Ah, crap! It's just a station. It's a marina. Yeah. Um. Can you find things like food here? I don't or is know. It always just gas. Gas. Cool. Well, There's gas in my jar. I don't know. Nice what to do with it. it probably helps you start a fire or something crazier fire arrows a motor's go so if I you have a motor oh wow that'd, that'd be a sweet upgrade yeah because i have like basically very 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 little control over the raft right now and that's what the gas would allow me to do but that was my only jar so huh. you know that's cool can you now say you find something else that you want to uh oh well thank you for whoa any day you wanna oh it's because you're not actually in the rapid oh okay here we go and gonna barely dodge that and we're gonna uh, so so say you uh, for something else that you want uh, you want to put in that jar can you uh just empty it out i'm a, i haven't tried yet but i imagine so it would make sense Ooh, alcohol i wonder if that'll uh, satiate your hunger Oh, dude, you need to eat, like, right now. I don't know what to do about Dude, that. just I can't, eat, eat I can't. the alcohol. I can't. Nuts and bolts, that's cool. I can fix the raft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I need you to slow down, Mr. Raft. Uh, oh. Oh, so you don't just... Starving. Die immediately. Oh, my. Look at the portrait. Oh, uh, you know what, everybody? This is probably going to be the, the last episode of this run specifically. Oh, but I'm glad that yeah. we get to see what happens. Aww. Oh, Aww. puppy. So what do you think about us not needing to feed the dog? That's interesting. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Although that's probably not what my final thoughts were. <laughs> But wait, I never fed you either. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, man. Just oh, uh, nice. It shows us her path. Ah. Oh. And. Oh, my. So we traveled almost five miles, survived five days. Not too bad. Especially for our first proper run. Like, uh, I don't know if we've specified this, but... We, we actually played this game mostly blind. Uh, the most time you had before this to prep was 15 minutes while I was doing yeah, a little research. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I did well, but it was fun. Can I... Uh, oh, okay, so Steam, Steam Controller is very interesting with this. So, I want to say we're in Kentucky. You think so? I think... I, I, I don't remember the name of the tree, but usually when I see those types of trees, it's when I'm driving through Kentucky and they're all... Like, you know what? There weren't it, a lot of mountains kind of pine or like about? hills. What? What? Is, are you talking about this like evergreens? Yes. Or pines or whatever they are. Maybe ferns. Oh god! If Nick were here, he would be able to just tell me right away what they are. Yeah. Well, he's a nerd. <laughs> yeah. Hard water <laughs> hammock. Oh wait. So. Oh, we can restore back to where we. Ah, so, I mean, this, unfortunately, this is the very first place we started off. But was it, was that one of the campfires? Well, no. What's that? 
Oh, that's just taking you back to the main menu? Hmm? Huh? I'm wondering if we hit continue. At this point, I want to actually explore the rest of the uh, the roguelite mechanics mm -hmm. to see what does continue or not. Ooh, yeah, I don't know if we if there are any kind of like... Oh, so you can just kind of pick up back where hard water... water. Unfortunately, I'm still starving to death, but that's okay because basically it still works in, in a sense like it's roguelite, but it's still um, very has that rogue heavy um, element to it because at any point, um, oh. yeah, I can pick this up, but if I was at a unsavable position, then then it, it like at that point lets you backtrack to a previous point or just restart. Start restart. All right, well, that is cool to know, I guess. I mean, do, do you think that that's okay? Do you think that kind of hurts the experience, though? Not. Mm, I mean, if, I mean it, it, this is traveler mode, right? So. That, that was what I was going to say next. Is I wonder if that's something that's only available under traveler mode. Or maybe if it's available in the harder difficulties, maybe it's a lot more rare. Or even the hardest mode probably just doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. It's like permadeath. Um, I feel like that's an important thing to have in any kind of roguelike is some element of permadeath. Um, but this is that's interesting. Like, I don't know if I like that it lets you re like reload a previous point because I feel like it hurts the point of it being procedurally generated and it being a roguelite. Um, but at the same time, so here's why I do like it is because I think it lowers the barrier to entry for players that aren't familiar with rogue-like or roguelite games. I, I completely agree. Actually, I mean, on top of that, um, is that a wolf? Oh, that's a that's boar. That's a boar. No, 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 no. Oh. I have no. no traps to deal with you, mister. This fire, it will... Go away, go away, go away. Oh, he's going to charge me and I'm going to die. Oh, Everything's, that crow I'm about is to die. totally taunting him on, too. Get out of here. You put him in the fire. Use the yes, fire. Yes, uh, just uh, don't. <laughs> Can you just sleep? <laughs> That's really? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, 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 just Hey, oh, he's still there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Gord was. Oh my ailment. god! Final, like, but I still died of starvation. That's the funny part. Oh, uh, so uh, if a boar is chasing you, <laughs> do not go to sleep. Oh no, oh, I died of gourd. With gourd. Yeah, nice. All right. Yeah, I think it gives you like 10 seconds or so to feed yourself if you're dying of starvation. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so I was actually going to, I, and that can lead into the question of the day. I was going to uh, agree with that um, in that we, uh, oh, I think it was only allowing me to go back to the last place I was at, the last checkpoint I was at. Oh, really? I wasn't able to do it to the whole, uh, all of them. Because I'm about to go back oh, okay. to the main menu now. I was re I was reading it wrong. So that being said, it's a little bit better. Then. It does allow it does hold your hand a little bit and allow into teaching you how to play the game. But mm -hmm. this is on Traveler, where it's just like, all right, this is how you play the game. Mm -hmm. Now that you've understood how to play the game, now we'll go into the normal mode. Yeah, yeah. Where you'll actually die. And so, I actually I actually appreciate that. Um, and normally I'm not one to go like, oh, you know, easy mode, whatever. I, you normally fight against it because I'm like, it, you, I usually feel like easy mode is not going to teach you how the game should actually feel. Mm -hmm. But in this regard, uh, did the game freeze up on us? I don't know. Can you move the cursor around? Mm -hmm. I find it. Oh. oh, there we go. Uh, but in general, um, I, I feel like in this, it yet takes, may take away from what the overall idea of the game is mm -hmm. but it does really allow the player to gather their bearings and understand how to play the game and that's something that roguelites never help you with yeah it built another built-in tutorial really yeah, yeah. one of the modes hmm. yeah I, I actually kind of dig that i i honestly can't say i've seen that in any other kind of roguelike or roguelite game no nope, usually just allows you to die over and over again until <laughs> you get enough power to continue on yeah and most rogue, rogue legacy well, yeah, that's and that's a good example of a, a rogue light, light, where it's like you die over and over again, but it has meta mechanics. So you're you're building up this arsenal to make future runs more successful. Mm -hmm. um, this I don't think has that, but it lets you backtrack to previous, a, at least a previous point. So Checkpoints, it, normal abundance of supply, survivalist is recommended for experienced players. Permadeath. There Your you go. Okay, that answers that question. At an increased rate. 
So. But, so that's that's nice though because I think it allows players that just want to play the game and even explore, right? So in, in traveler mode, we can actually like make choices that will kill us, but it won't be the worst because then we're learning. Yep. Um, and that's that's actually a really good use of like the easy mode, so to say. It actually there's a purpose to it. Yeah, wow, yeah. that's a good point. Other than it just being easier. Yeah. So um, I, I that that should be the question of the day. I oh, absolutely. Is, um, how do you feel? Uh, how do you feel about the the idea that the easy mode is technically just a tutorial for how the game is going to feel, and it allows uh, how it eases the player into the mechanics of this very difficult game. Yeah, and, and even more so, like, do you think that there's something more they should be doing in addition to that? Ah, yeah, what else could be done? Compared to other roguelites or roguelikes as well, uh, procedural death labyrinths. Yeah. The yeah. better term. <laughs> All right, well. well. We'll be sure to vote in the uh, voting section if you want us to play more of this game or another game. Yeah, it's and, fun. Uh, I would like to play more and actually be experienced next time, so... If you like it, we'll play it again, and I'll be better next time. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a little bit of uh, training time in. Yeah. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks See you for around. watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. Do the things with the button presses and the stuff. The likes and the comments and the subscribes. And yep. The... <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>